this is the stoding stitch. This is generally considered to be a mending or repairing stitch of cloth. It's a seaming stitch, meaning that it's creating a seam that cannot be seen by the eye unless you're really looking for it. The way that this stitch is made is by going through the thickness of the cloth. Therefore, it's usually good for cloths that are thicker and tightly woven, such as like a worsted. The reason why I'm having so much trouble trying to make this stitch is because I have a camera in front of me and my head is behind the camera so I am trying to do this stitch by looking at the monitor. <laughs> um, it's like trying to do surgery through you know someone else's hands. Um, so this stitch is made it's made parallel to each other. There we go. As you can see I'm trying to get in between the fibers of the fabric. If I were to take the, 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 the needle out and take a look at this right here. Let me see if I can zoom in really close on this. If I were to take this fabric and lay it out flat, you'd see that the raw edge of this fabric is eventually being met by this stitch. It ends up looking kind of like a zipper. It's like a whip stitch, except part of that whip stitch is going through the fibers, through the thickness of the cloth. When you pull the stitch into itself. You don't tighten to the point to where it starts pulling that other piece of fabric um, too close. What you do is you get it just snug enough to where it looks like it's a flat edge. Now if I were to turn this fabric over on the other side what you would see is hopefully nothing if I'm doing it well. Most of the time before you press it there's always going to be a bit of raw edge of the fabric showing on the opposite side. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this around to the opposite side to see how we're doing. Here's what it looks like from the other side. You can see that there's a stitch there, kind of, because there's like a little peak, a mountain. Let me turn it this way. See how it's raised up a bit? If I take it to the iron and press it, it's going to look virtually like if there's nothing there. Um, in coat making and tailoring, the reason why you would use this stitch is very specialized purposes, like I said, either for mending but the other reason why you use it is when you're making the reverse of the lapel. Here's the lapel of the frock coat. As we get in closer, you're basically going to see that there's the silk lapel on the front. This is the reverse. And if you lift it over, you see the opposite side of the lapel. And I don't know if you can see where the stoat stitch is, but it's right there, right at the very tip of the lapel moving all the way down to about here. You notice that's where that stoat stitch ends. And that is where the split in the fabric that's called for. Now the result of all of this work ends up being a lapel that's very flat, very thin. If you can see here, it's very thin compared to a modern lapel. If you take a look at a modern lapel, there's gonna be a stitch on the edge all the way, that runs all the way down the jacket. It's it, this coat, rather, this is a coat. It doesn't have that. So therefore, the roll of the lapel is much more refined and it's much more showy as you look down the edge of this. It just flows all the way down. Very elegant design. So whoever came up with this like 150 years ago, <laughs> kudos. <laughs> the other way to do this stoting stitch is to hold the fabric horizontally and do the stitches up and down still in the same manner as before. Also, make sure that when you're doing this stitch that the raw edges of the fabric don't end up overlapping. That would be a bad thing because that's creating more body to this than we want. We want it to be as flat and seamless as possible. With lighter fabrics, there's another couple of different stitches that are used to get the same effect. One of them is called rantering, and the other one is called fine drawing. Um, we'll be covering those ones as well in other videos, so take a look for those. Thank you very much for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it.